As an extra bonus, because I normally wouldn't do this, and normally I wouldn't film any of this, or add this killer tip. So, as a winter bonus, and because I'm such a nice guy, yeah, right, uh, and the snow is melting fast. So, here's a tip on how to mount skis to a ski bike. Not like you guys are going to all out and do, go out and do it, but there's many hack ways. Uh, again, I've seen them all, but there's only one proper way. So, you take a sheet of steel four studs and that's it it sandwiches the ski mount to the ski and that's all it does I uh, use my magic two-part glue but you could use PL premium this stuff is really simple but uh, only if you know what you're doing I guess so uh, if you've done it once or twice before that helps but this works for me so just make sure you sand really good and uh, clean both sides and don't use too much glue or too little because if uh, you use too little and it splits and there's not enough glue to help it it'll really start to separate on you and if you use too much it's pretty obvious but uh, just use the right amount of glue to give it proper hold and seal and it gives it a little and that's it this one's clamped down drying and uh, that's about it I use lock washers, lock tight, it's never going to come apart. So, time to get out on the snow. Well, there it is, three quarters finished, but I think I'm done for now this year. I still got to finish the seat in uh, some yellow Kevlar upholstery. Uh, this one's more for bumper dragging because uh, it's got a higher back on it. The ones for the hills have a higher front, so you're not leaning over the handlebars. I was hoping on doing some stunts for you guys, but it's supposed to be 10 tomorrow, and I'm sick as shit this week, so uh, instead I got to sub in a few local guys uh, down the river where we take the jet boats there. Uh, these are old videos I found. I don't know who you guys are. Sorry, but you're local and you get my two thumbs up. So here they are. Ah, oh, good lord. Oh, Well, I got the jump all made. I got John here to help me build it, but my buddy's nowhere to be found, and I can't do it by myself. So, no guarantees this year. And my grandma's in the hospital. We're back with our two-part magic glue here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using PL Premium, but uh, it'll work. But if you're going to spend 50 grand on a car, you should buy the right stuff at least. So both sides have been sanded and cleaned thoroughly, and it's ready to clamp and bury, basically. So it's time to cover this junk up. Uh, it's sanded nice. And I'm using a layer or two of carbon fiber here has a bit more strength in this nasty area and there won't be any sand in happening under here so it's going to be all covered by the brace so good time here's the brace all stripped to bare metal ready to go apparently these stupid things are worth a grand also if you can find one uh, of course this one has to be all mashed up in the front just so I can waste my time on it but at least it's here
She's broken. <coughs> broken. Do they even think about buying it? You know, I, I just mentioned it. I've had enough of you already, but my Why do they punish me for it? That's reckless. Absolutely reckless. But I'm thinking Miles needs a winter car. She probably won't take five, but I can't go higher than that. I can go higher than four. Huh? Four at the most. She's broken. Unfortunately. Somebody old wreck. Chill that, you pile of crap. Oh my god! We're not done yet, Nito! We're done. We lost connection. Oh my god. Decaying classic of the day today is a gem. Oh wow. Seized up door. Comes with a free can of motor oil. On dash flight controls. Custom wood green wood panel door thingy. Good window, of course. Make one hell of a wall ornament. If you want to cruise in style, and a 69 Camaro is just not quite your thing. Needs a bit of work on the side though. I hear they make something called the Ding King though. Pulls dents right out. It's like driving around in your living room. 
Wow. So here we are, it's all installed. Uh, still got a seam seal to screw the weld that somebody left me. But the whole project was just cutting and welding. Pretty simple. The hardest part was working around the good quarter. It's way easier if it's wide open. So uh, what's the best way to uh, tear into a new quarter project? You can't hurt you. What we got in there? Oh no, that is sick. Holy fuck, I can see the trunk. I farted, it's wet, and I don't want to move. <laughs> Just set that there for Troy to fall out. This is Troy after his accident with his 2004 Grand Am. Tough <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God. What, you don't want to have a new clip? Yeah, I put that on there. That's why I won't break, eh? Stop. Oh. It's about to go away. Very strong, eh? Very, very durable. This is our dragger. <laughs> oh. oh, it's poor car. Yep, this morning she was fine. Today, the moon one. Oh, we don't want to get Okay. Oh no, she broke, eh? Oh.